I'm in we're, we're on, we're on. Well, hey, Laura. Hi. Now, it's your turn for the hot seat it today. Is. I know, so, I'm a bit <laughs> so you should be. Um, <laughs> It's my privilege. I'm going to be uh, interviewing Laura uh, a little bit now. And just to say thank you so much for joining us. If this is your first time uh, tuning in to City Church Manchester, uh, it's great to have you with us. Uh, the church congregation here at Central Hall uh, having just a few minutes of uh, uh, kind of drink, chat, getting to know each other, sharing life together. And so whilst they're doing that, um, I'm going to get to know Laura a little bit. She's been on an adventure, uh, and I'd love for her just to take a few moments to share that adventure with you. So, Absolutely. Laura, you've been away from City Church I for have. a while. Where yes. have you been? I have been in Nashville, which has been very exciting. It's very far from Manchester. Yeah. Oh, and what are, you, what are you doing in Nashville? It is a long way from it's, Manchester. Yeah, it is a long way from Manchester. So basically, as part of the internship that I do here at City Church, part of our training and helping the interns grow in their own discipleship and um, general training in, in their role, we get to have a placement time. Um, and part of that placement is with a partner church um, across the world, which is really exciting. And one of our partner churches is in Nashville. So I got to spend a couple of weeks out there doing basically what I do here at City Church, which is some graphic design work. Um, and I got to use my skills in that area to, to serve the church out there in Nashville. Um, so that's West End Community Church. Fantastic. And a huge shout out to any of you in Nashville at West End who may well be tuning in for this interview. So I'm imagining uh, most people watching have, have never been to Nashville. Uh, it's a place of, of country music, I know that. Tell us a little bit about Nashville as a city. Oh yeah, definitely a big country music scene there. So it's kind of, it's called the country music capital of the US. And it is very much leaning into that motif. There's a lot of like cowboy hats and cowboy boots and um, music everywhere. There's just bars along the way up on the main Broadway street. And um, every single one of them has just got live musicians playing wow. all the time. So there's quite a lot of noise that went on while you walked around the city. But it was really cool to hear that kind of really I think, I think this is going to devise a lot of people, but um, I really enjoy country music, so I, I found it really beautiful to hear just this very well done live country music. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it was definitely a new experience. Just everything feels big there. Everything feels so much taller. Everything feels um, exciting. And um, there's just a lot of movement going on. Um, Nashville's actually quite an up and coming city at the moment. It's had a lot of growth, a lot of people have moved there. So we're seeing um, people from lots of different backgrounds coming to Nashville and, and exploring and getting to take part in culture. So it actually means that there's, um, there's a lot more to it than just country music, which is really exciting. No, that's great. And I guess some of us will be thinking as we hear you speak that the idea of actually kind of upping sticks, putting your life in a kind of suitcase, flying across the other side of the world, would be quite a daunting thing to do. I mean, were, were, you, were you scared at any point? Were you yes. nervous? How, how was that on an emotional level? Yes, yeah, the short answer is yes. I think um, traveling that far away on your own as well is very daunting. And the, the type of transport, um, I don't particularly enjoy flying either. I find it quite a stressful <laughs> environment to be in. Um, and I had to do some connecting flights as well. Um, so thankfully, the, the connecting flight there was fine. I had about a two and a half hour layover, which gave me enough time to get my bags and go find my gate. Um, but the way back was a little bit stressful. And I think the way there, I was able to like watch a couple of films, read a book or something. Oh, fantastic. Had a nice chat to the lady next to great. me. That was great. On the way back, you're meant to sleep on the plane. Wow. Uh, because that's when you're trying to reset yeah, yeah. your body clock coming back into the UK. And uh, I did not find that. Oh, you didn't. You didn't get to do that. Uh, well, I tried. I tried oh. to, but I don't think I was very successful. So it has taken me a full week to kind of get back into the right routine yeah, yeah. of sleeping. Yeah. Now, those of you who've been tuning into City Church for any length of time will know that uh, one of the things that we're 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 kind of upfront about is the fact that God often uh, teaches us. Uh, grows us, develops us through times of challenge or when we're kind of 
pushed out of our comfort zone. Now that happened to you. So what did you learn through the experience? Uh, where, was, where was God amidst all of this adventure? I think the biggest thing that I really took away from it is that God has got my life in his hands and I can trust him with that. And I think because it felt like such a big thing to do and again to do it on my own, knowing that I had God with me and he was walking beside me and um, making sure I just felt his presence with me while I went and did those things. And I think it was a real... Um, growth in trusting God that I can take that leap of faith that I can just go um, on my own and just kind of experience a new a new lifestyle a new country a new place and um, but God the same God that's here in Manchester is the same God that's in Nashville so he doesn't change depending on my geographical location and um, so being able to trust in that was really great and then as well I think because God is the same here as there it means that I have brothers and sisters there as well in Christ so we get to share in the same God as well so even if culturally was a little bit different and I, it took a lot for me to like connect with them I think one thing that we could naturally and easily connect on was our love for Jesus and that was really precious oh fantastic now uh, West End Community Church is, has been a long time friend of City Church Manchester. Uh, we know Scotty Smith very well, and you're going to be hearing a little bit later in our service how he's going to be doing uh, some training uh, for us on the topic of prayer. And, and so I'm curious, you know, you're in a new church, in a new experience, a new cultural expression of what it means to be followers of Jesus. What did you find particularly different or particularly refreshing during that time? Um, I think the way that they approached um, kind of musical worship was very different. Again, Nashville being a big music city, I think the way that they explored that and the way that they used that as a way to um, prepare people's hearts while they were having the service, I think that was a very different way of doing things. Um, but I also, I really appreciated it. I think it was great to experience that and to to realise that we don't have to have a set way of doing things. We don't have to be stuck in our little, like... Mm -hmm. I don't know, program of how we set things out and to, to worship it at a different, in a different way at a different stage, yeah, I think that was really interesting to experience. Um, but I also felt like their community, even it was a big church, and I mean, for them, they said it was like a medium-sized church, yeah, but yeah. I think for the UK, it was definitely a big church. They still set out ways for people to connect with each other. Um, to that they could have people around in their homes so that they could read God's word together so that they could explore difficult topics. We looked at um, one of the Sunday school classes that they had was looking at dealing with toxic relationships and that was just a seminar where people looked at God's word, looked how we could apply God's word into that area of life and then also share wisdom with each other about how we've experienced that sort of thing um, and how we've seen God play into that. And I think just the way that they built that community so that they could be honest with people, so that you could have that sort of understanding with each other. I thought that was really well done. So that was really, really great. great. Now, I'm, I'm curious, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the question. I mean, have you come back different? Has it changed you from, from everything so. that you've been through and experienced there? Yeah, I think so. I think you'd, you'd said this before I left that it was going to change me. And I was a bit sceptical because I was like, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to change me that much. It's just for three weeks. But actually, I think it's given me confidence because I was able to do it. And I think it's, it's definitely helped me to really solidify my trust in God and how he can take care of me. And I think as well, um, just experiencing a different culture, making friends with some new people, I think definitely feel like I've been changed by them. So Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's great. Now, you guys probably won't know this, but um, uh, we have an amazing uh, communications team at City Church. Laura is part of that. She's one of the, uh, the graphic design team. Uh, and so a lot of the, the things that you're going to be seeing, the visuals that you would have seen uh, on social media, even during the service, are going to have been designed by you. Some of it. <laughs> you were going to another church that also has a really high value for creatives. Absolutely, yeah. How important do you think it is for creatives to find a church that's going to support them and look after them? I think it's really important. I think um, part of what is beautiful about being a creative and a Christian is that we have a creator God. We get to share that skill. Obviously, I, th I believe that 
um, God is the true creator, so we're just imitators of what he can make. <laughs> um, but I think being able to have a space or an environment where people can thrive in that, to be excited by that, I think is really, really important. And I think churches um, need to just embrace those people, embrace those creative people, because you kind of get so much out of it that you wouldn't notice usually. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that's great. And just as we finish, you are a kind of walking kind of advert for our internship program. You're a second year. <laughs> yep. year inter- now, some people will be thinking, oh, you know, I thought about taking an internship. City Church maybe has come across your radar, but they've looked at the kind of potential placement somewhere in the world and thought, no way, that's not for me. If someone's sitting on the fence there and they're thinking, maybe this year I'd like to apply, but they're nervous about that, what would you say to them? Do it. (laughs) (laughs) Do it. Honestly, I think my time at the internship, I've learned so much. I've so loved being a part of this team and I, I definitely would recommend doing it. Don't even hesitate. Just do it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this interview. We're about to start uh, the second portion of our service together, so do stay with us for that. Thank you to all of you at West End Community Church who looked after Laura uh, so well. We are delighted to have church partners right across the world helping us to enact our vision here in the centre of Manchester. We'll see you very soon. See you guys.